Good happy Wednesday evening, June 1st, 2022. I'm Riley King. Welcome to this Wednesday evening edition of the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Wednesday evening, so let's get started right now. First step, man arrested in connection with alleged school threat after report from neighbor, police say. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. At Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses, we're proud to offer handcrafted... about the potential threat that put Barrington schools into secure mode yesterday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jean Mackin. Police say a man called them to say a neighbor had made comments about shooting up an elementary school. Within a couple of hours, officers arrested that neighbor, John Serona. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. New Hampshire State Police exam expand the use of dashboard and body cameras. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. For over 25 years, Bellegarde has paved the way in the hardscapes industry, providing... Well, Jen and Tom, this is some pretty interesting stuff. It's all part of reforms that were put in place by the Police Accountability Commission. Right now, 260 New Hampshire State Police Cruisers are equipped with these cameras. Nearly all troopers have the cameras on their body. So this is how it all works. The cameras that the troopers are wearing are actually connected to their smartphones. Those smartphones go into a pocket that is within their uniform. They're snapped right into place. Now, the cameras are activated when a trooper either taps that camera three times, they also have a switch that is located on their belt, or these cameras are also activated anytime a trooper removes their gun from their holster. Now, as for the dashboard cameras, well, they're activated anytime a cruiser uh, turns on their blue lights or if there is a strong impact to that cruiser, such as a car accident. Within the first day of field use in one of our field troops, we had a complaint and an exoneration within two hours. And so we're really grateful for that because the camera just helps to show what the interaction was, what its nature was, and whether or not our troopers are conducting themselves in accordance with our expectations. And now also today, the executive council approved funding for body cameras and dashboard cameras for local police departments. We'll explain more on that coming up at 6. For now, reporting live in Concord, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Man sought after woman allegedly hit in head with gun in Manchester. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Manchester police are looking for a man who they say hit a woman in the head with a gun and then fired it into the ground. Investigators say she was able to escape yesterday morning's assault by running into a home on Hayward Street. If you know where this man is, you are asked to contact Manchester police. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. New Hampshire mom thankful for blood donations after receiving five liters of blood after childbirth. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. A 
As a mother of twin girls, Fanuela and Rosalie, they're just over a year. Elizabeth Bargardo has her hands full as a first-time mom these days. So it's really fun to, to watch those, those personalities start to develop. A nurse at Wentworth Douglas, little did she know that her time in an operating room would help save her own life. All of our scans were good. We had um, yeah, no, no complications at all. Unbeknownst to Elizabeth, the placenta had attached to her uterine wall, causing her to bleed uncontrollably as doctors handed her Fanuela and Rosalie. My doctor said to me, she said, she's okay, she's okay. And I knew, <laughs> because I'm a nurse, I know how doctors speak, how providers speak. And I was like, okay, that means something's, she's okay, something's not wrong, not right with me. Elizabeth relied on her medical training to keep her bearings. They're here, okay, what do they look like? Who are they? What, what's, what, is, what is this? And like, I've, I'm becoming a mother and then shifting to having to focus on myself. Like my, all, I, all I had to, my brain just went to survive, survive, survive. And in a situation when every second, every minute could mean life or death. Remember, blood pressure started to drop. Uh, they have found out later that they got the blood within three minutes, which was pretty amazing. Elizabeth required five liters of blood and was fortunate to have her type available. One year later, she wants others to know that an hour of their time could give strangers more time with loved ones. If you can donate um, and you're, you're literally giving life. <laughs> it's, I mean, my, my girls have a mother because of this. My, my husband has a wife. <laughs> I'm Sean McDonald, WMUR News 9. Wow. And you can help replenish blood supplies here in New Hampshire by taking part in our blood drive this Friday. Go to our website or mobile app right now to schedule your appointment at any of the five locations around the state. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Making an appointment, the 2022 WMUR Blood Drive set for this coming Friday, June 3rd. Doors, donors can give blood on Friday, June 3rd. For more information, you can find it all in this article. Walmart, Walmart to hold shareholders concert in celebration this week. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC 4029 News. K-H-B-S-K-H-O-G. As a Main Street bank, PNC has helped over 7 million kids develop their passion for learning. And now we're providing $88 billion to support underserved communities, helping us all move forward financially. PNC Bank, see how we can make a difference for you. Yeah, today's event is a thank you to Walmart Associates for their work over the past year. Now, we talked to Walmart's chief people officer while I step out so I can give you a look at what's going on here. And, and she tells us that there are a 1,000 associates joining today. For them, they've got this whole setup. They've had people out here setting up since we got here just before 5 o'clock this morning. You see food trucks. We've even got a monster race car, a Ninja Warrior rock climbing wall, lots of fun things going on out here for the associates. Now, they are mostly frontline associates that work within a two-hour radius. And the chief people officer says today marks the return of physical company cohesion. Take a listen. People have been masked up or in Zooms and or in facilities and limited to very little interaction. And so really getting back in, I think it's a sign of hope and energy for what is ahead of us. Now, of course, Walmart has a reputation of bringing in celebrity guests and performers. So they say that will continue today, although we don't know yet who that's going to be. That celebration starts at 10 a.m. More on the COVID-19 protocols here at the AMP coming up in our next half hour. Okay, and there you go on that video and 
that report. And that is it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Have a great evening. Good night and goodbye.